Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how I made a cement pot using this plastic bowl as my mold. I normally use a papercrete recipe that is three parts paper pulp, two parts Portland cement, and one part perlite. And a lot of you have asked if you can substitute the perlite for something. So today I'm gonna to show you how I substituted the perlite. Instead of using that, I used sand. So if you're interested in learning how I did that, keep watching. So here I've laid out all my supplies. You're gonna need paper pulp. I have a link down below if you're interested in learning how to make that. You'll need Portland cement. And I sift mine just to make sure there's no clumps. And then you're gonna need sand. This type of sand has a little bit of uh, like bigger pebbles in it, but any kind of sand that you wanna use will work. And then gloves and a mask, a mixing bowl and spoon, my mold. a cup for measuring, and then some sort of release agent. So I'm just using some cooking spray. So I will put the recipe on the screen here for you guys in case you wanna jot it down. But again, it's three parts paper pulp, two parts Portland cement, and one part sand. And in case you are wondering what the paper pulp is, um, it is the main ingredient in papercrete. It is newspaper shredded up or other type of paper that's shredded and then soaked in water and then pulped using either a blender or like a paint mixer, something to mix it up and blend it into fine pieces. And then it is the excess water is drained and then you're left with paper pulp, similar to if you've ever made recycled paper. So then I used my release agent in the the mold and this is just a mold that I picked up at the thrift store I thought it was a nice size and shape for a planter and here's the consistency that uh, I was looking for so it almost creates a clay type mixture it's not real runny you can mold it easily and it keeps its shape and that's what you're looking for because you don't want to push it up on the side of your mold, and then it just slump down into the middle. So what I like to do is what I call the hamburger method or hamburger patty method, where I get a handful of the paper creep mixture and I make it into a patty and kind of compact it in between my hands and then I press it into the mold and really press it down and then I will put the next one on and then press the seams together. And that is a pretty good way to make it even and consistent and the best way that I have found so far, instead of just taking like random chunks and trying to push it on the side. And I like to use a little bit of water to help smooth out any uh, rough edges or lumps or bumps. I then poked a hole for drainage with my spoon. If you forget to do this, you could also just drill a hole through it. It's not that hard to drill through. So I like to wrap my projects in plastic for a couple days. I feel like the longer that they cure and they stay wet, the stronger they will be. So I kept it in the bag for a couple days and then I took it out of the bag and left it in the mold until it was pretty solid and I was sure it wouldn't crumble because it has happened to me before, so now I'm very cautious. So I like to just go over it with a sanding pad and some water just to smooth over any rough edges. So I'm very happy with the final product of this new recipe. It was an experiment, but I think it turned out really well. The final product is very solid and it looks pretty much like papercrete. So if you're looking for a recipe that doesn't use perlite, but you wanna try papercrete, this could be a good recipe for you to try. Let me know if you do try it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video and I'll see you in the next one.